Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. So today I want to show you guys how to sell a put option or AKA do a cash secure put option on the Weeble paper trading platform. And by the way, if you haven't already signed up yet, feel free to do so since they're still giving out 12 free shares of fractional shares of stocks. Uh, when you sign up, fund the account. And by the way, there's, there's Tesla, Apple, Amazon. I received all of those before and also Google as well. And when I signed up, I think I got $45 ish or so. I can't recall. It's been a while, uh, since I've signed up. And if you do sign up and you don't want to trade you just cash out and get your money and you could use your paper trading account as well and by the way a paper trading account is no risk to you you're not using your own money it's just a simulations where you can go in buy stock buy trade do some trades and familiarize with uh, the platform itself and it's beneficial because not a lot of platform offers option trading for you guys so without further ado i'm going to just jump on in um so for this setup you might if you're brand new here you're not going to Get, get an idea of what's going on because uh this is a totally new system for you guys but i have uh, videos down below and you can always play around with it by the way this is just paper money it's not real money so i have the late this layout set up uh not exactly this layout but i'll show you how to group stuff together how to pull up charts how to add charts how do you uh you know execute it or how do you sell or buy an option in general so i'll, I'll link a video down below i've done a couple of videos in the past before so all tutorials and all signups will be down below if you're interested in uh, watching this. So without further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you an example. So right now I have it set up for Apple. Notice how when I type in Apple uh, right now, all of these show Apple indicator or all these charts shows Apple stuff because I've grouped them together. And that's very valuable when you start using layouts like this. So right now I'm not gonna use Apple for my example, but I'm gonna use XPEV. X -E so what, this is just because it's a lower amount uh, in terms of price. So right now I have this uh, clicked for XPeng, everything set up. So if I'm doing a put, obviously I'm gonna go click on a put option right over here. So this is selected for puts. I'm gonna minimize this and this is obviously the X, uh, strikes right over here is gonna be inside here. These are just uh, expiration, usually go 30 days out, expiration. And if I'm doing a uh, cash secure put or selling a put, I want my price to be a little bit uh, below the market price. So then I could get some money out of it and hoping uh, banking that it doesn't get uh, assigned. So then I don't have to buy the stock. So the whole premise of this is just basically think of it as insurance. You buy something at a lower price, hoping it doesn't execute or you get assigned and then you get money from it. So hope it, hope you understand that. If not, you know, watch a couple of my tutorials or other people's tutorial on YouTube, or just understanding, or just to do a Google search on what a uh, cash secure put is, or selling a put option. What what that what that is in general. Uh, so right now, if I want, so currently XPing is trading around ten dollars and eleven cents, uh, or ten dollars twelve cents, right? I'll shoot for something that's nine dollars, and if. And during the expiration in 31 days, if it doesn't get, it doesn't hit $9 right over your strike or below that, then I don't get a sign and I don't have to buy it. And I just collect the premium up front. So right now it's currently the buyers are spying at six, uh, point 66, basically $66. And the sellers are selling at around 70 cents a piece or basically $70. One option is a hundred shares. Just remember if you're brand new here, this is a good training tutorial for you guys, by the way. So right now I'm gonna just click on this, uh, go on $9 and you'll see, and I have my account right over here, set up $10,000, so it's perfect. There's a little caveat to this, but I'll explain this later uh, in this uh, video. So you'll see, you'll understand once I uh, get this, place this order in. So I click on this right over here and then I have this pulled up. So this trace uh, chart over here. And by the way, I'm just go ahead and tell you, if you wanna add a widget, click on this little toolbox and you can add a widget, find the trade, uh, a classic trade uh, chart over here. So then you pull this up. So I'm gonna hit uh, market orders. So I just wanted to execute uh, quickly and then hit a sell. And then I'll, I'll show you how, if I'm gonna get it in this range or not. So hit it sell. And it got filled. So right now over here, I'm gonna say it got filled. I think average 0.67 fill time. Okay, it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, so got filled at 0.67, basically $67. Notice now, notice now, a lot of people will think that, oh, uh, don't you get it up front? But this is since this is a paper trading account, you don't get the money up front per se. It's going to start slowly trickling in. And then once it expires, you get the money. Once it exp If it does expire and it, you don't get it signed, you get the money, you're $67 ish. Right now, it's just right now it says, uh ten thousand dollars because my account is ten thousand dollars it should in a in my real account it will just reflect it off like sixty seven dollars but market value is negative sixty seven but uh let's wait for a couple minutes or so to see if this actually changed so you can know so you'll see what's uh, going on right now position is just zero zero everything's zeroed out so i'm gonna just wait it out and fast forward uh so you can see So after waiting for a bit, we're up a dollar. So right now we're up about 1.49%. And the whole premise of this is uh, selling high and then buying back in low. So right now we sold at, uh, earlier we sold at 0.67 and now the last price is now 0.66. If we were to sell it now, we'll probably gain just a dollar or even break even depending on how the market is. So right now the uh, we're trying to get this as low as possible in the ideal situation, we want to not get a sign because we don't want to buy 100 shares or at least in my case, I don't want to buy 100 shares. I just want to continue doing the cycle over and over again. And the reason why you do something like this is because you think the market is going to go up. So then you don't get a sign and you collect your premium. So that's the idea of this. Eventually, if this expert, if this 31 day has gone by and nothing happens, it doesn't go below the $9 strike or at the, at $9 or below $9 strike, you don't get a sign and you collect your $67. So let's run another scenario. This probably won't get a sign, but I want to see if it actually uh, does get a sign. So I'm going to be selling this, right? Or I'm going to be buying this. So then I cancel this order. So Here's another case. Uh, if you want to get out or just get out of this uh, option, just go ahead and buy it. Click a buy. Uh, we do one option. So remember this, you try to get it as low as possible. We bought it at 67 uh, and we're trying to, we're, we're selling, we sold it at 67 and trying to buy it at 66. So right now we can make a dollar profit. So in this case, probably not, it's not gonna get a sign. I have a huge feeling, but it's just gonna be in working order. Like I assume it's gonna be a working order, but it does get assigned then in your actual account or in this in this paper trading account, you actually, you're gonna realize your dollar. So your $1, you're gonna be realized. So right now I know it's not gonna get assigned. So <laughs> so it is what it is. It's, uh, it's gonna be working right over here, limit 0.66. So here you go. That's it for uh, how to do a, uh, cash secure put or selling a put option. If you have any comments or questions down below, uh, just comment down below actually, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and I'll catch you next week.